religious about a lot of things. Amen. But uh, having salvation down your soul, that's what's going to matter. Amen. When it, when it comes down to the uh, time to die. Amen. 1 Corinthians 12. If you've got your Bibles this morning, I ask you to uh, stand for a few minutes. I ask you to pray for me. And, I, and God laid this on my heart this morning. I was trying to, amen, just pray and see what God would have me to preach. Amen. 1 Corinthians 12. Amen. And uh, we'll start reading in verse number 18. Amen. You pray that God would just, uh, amen, just uh, have His way. Amen. It ain't about, uh, it ain't about no, uh, as the True Faith Quartet sing that song. It's not about me. It's not about you. But it's all about Him. So that's what, uh, that's what service is about. That's what a whole life ought to be about. Amen. It's about the Lord. Amen. About do- uh, Jesus said, did you not know that I should be about my Father's business? Amen. That's all of us today. We ought to be about our Father's business. 1 Corinthians 12 and verse number 18. The Bible said, But now hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it hath pleased Him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, yet but one body? And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again uh, the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Nay, but much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble or necessary. Amen. Amen. We ought to get a hold of that this morning. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor. And our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. For our comely parts have no need, but God hath tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part, that part which lack. That there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. And or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Amen. Praise the Lord. We ought to rejoice with with each other. Now ye are the body of Christ and members in particular. And God has set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues, are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers are all workers of miracles have all the gifts of healing do all speak with tongues do all interpret but covet earnestly the best gifts and yet show I unto you a more excellent way dear heavenly father we thank you God today our Lord for another Lord's day God that you've given us and our Lord I pray today God you'd anoint me our Lord to preach what you God have laid our Lord on my heart and Lord I pray that our God you'd let us God just supply this word, our Lord, to our lives, that God, our Lord, we'd be ever mindful, Lord, of your spirit, and Lord, I pray you'd supply every need, our God, that's in this building today, our God, pray, we pray, Lord, that you'd save the lost, God, and our Lord, if there's somebody here today, our God, that's maybe cold, our Lord, maybe lost, you know the heart, our God, of every soul, our Lord, that's in this building, I pray, God, that you do a work today and it's in Jesus name that we pray and amen now I'm just going to preach for amen today for a few minutes on the body amen on the body of Christ now our brother we know that Paul here our brother he amen I compared the church our brother to a physical body and he said the eye can't say our brother to maybe the hand that I have no need of thee our brother he said we're all one body amen the Bible said amen in one place said how we're all baptized our brother into the self same body by the same spirit I will brother today amen we're here today I baptized into one body how we're here today I baptized by the spirit of God our brother not by water and not by the works, our brother of the flesh, but brother, we've been made, amen, in the one body, into the church, our brother of the living God. And now the Bible said, amen, that when one member hurts, and then brother, we all hurt, and when one member suffers, and then brother, we all suffer. But Paul said that there be no schism, our brother, in the 
body. And you know what that word means? Brother, it means a gap. Brother, or a division. Well, oh, how good. Brother, would it be to come together in unity? Amen, how good would it be? Now, brother, it's maybe a little tired. Amen, in the house of God today. But do you know why that is? Brother, amen, there's a gap. And brother, there's a hole. And there's a vision, brother. Amen, in the body. But brother, we all ought to come together. Now, the Bible said not everybody. Brother, is a preacher. Not everybody. Brother, is a teacher. Not everybody. Amen, has maybe this gift or that gift. Amen, but I want to tell you today, friend, and no matter what your job is, amen, you're meaningful, amen, to this body today. And no matter, amen, what you do, amen, oh, when you lay out, and maybe tonight, amen, you're going to be missed. When you don't come, brother, you're going to be missed. Amen, well, why is that? We're all one body. Brother, we've all got maybe different members. You might be a finger. Brother, you might be a toe. But you know who the head is. You know who it is. It ain't me. But the head is. Brother, the Lord and Savior. Amen, Jesus Christ. And let me say this. Amen, when you live like hell and you don't do. Amen, what the Bible says. Then you don't bring dishonor. Amen, only unto me. How about you bring it to the head? How brother that to the Lord? How the Lord of glory? How now, brother, I've got a head. How my body does. And if you cut off my head, how you see I can live. How brother without my hand, I can live. How brother without my foot. How but brother when the head is gone, how then brother I'm gonna die. And when the Lord ain't lifted up in the church, how then brother the church. Hey man, it's going to die. I will, hey man, if I could tell you. Hey man, the Bible said, I to cover the best gifts. I will, young people today, they're looking out at the world, and the world's telling them, hey, you're to cover this. Hey man, you're to desire this. But there's one thing that it's all right to cover. Hey man, Paul said, I cover the best gifts. I, brother, when I, I was a young preacher. Amen, amen, just started out. Amen, a few years ago. Amen, when I first started, I'd look up to them men that had the power of God. I'd say, Lord, Lord, whatever spirit, whatever anointing, you know why? Because, amen, you can have all the words. You can have all, amen, the fancy words. But if there ain't no soul and there ain't no anointing, it ain't going to do no good. How do you know what we need in the body? How we need the word. How we need the truth. How, brother, we ought to love. Amen. Always sung that song. That makes me love everybody. And can you say that? How do you love everybody? Amen. I'm telling you today. Amen. When God saves you, He puts in you a heart of love. Amen. Amen. Well, amen. The body today, amen, has a head, and the body, amen, has feet, and the body. My brother has hands, and the body has arms. Amen. Paul said, He said, We all, He said, Those that are feeble, I want to give the more abundant honor. Amen. You know why? My brother, a lot of people's quit. Amen. They're in it for themselves. They're in it to get their own honor. Amen. Oh, but the Bible said, Whoever exalts himself, my brother, he shall be a base. But whosoever, Amen, humbleth himself. God shall, my brother, exalt him. I will friend today. 
Uh, uh, do you know what the body needs? Uh, uh, we need to lift up Jesus. Uh, amen. When we come in here, uh, I lift up the Lord. Uh, uh, the Bible said uh, uh, that Isaiah, uh, in the year that King Uzziah, uh, uh, brother, the year that he died, uh, uh, the Bible said that he saw uh, uh, the Lord. Uh, uh, amen. I lifted up. Uh, and the Bible said that his train, uh, uh, brother, filled the temple. Uh, uh, well, you know what a train is. Uh, amen. Uh, no doubt you ladies do. I uh, follows behind that dress. Uh, amen. Well, you know what it was. Uh, uh, brother, in the Lord's day, uh, or in Isaiah's day, uh, uh, when he seen the Lord, uh, it was the glory of God. Uh, and brother, in the body, uh, uh, we ought to pay men. Uh, uh, we ought to see the glory. Uh, uh, brother, in the body, uh, uh, we ought to care one for another. Uh, uh, brother, in the body, uh, uh, when somebody's sick, uh, uh, we we all ought to be there to help. Uh, brother, when somebody uh, is uh, going through a trial, uh, as I preached to you last week, uh, uh, sometimes we just need help. Uh, and we ought to be the ones uh, to lift up their arms. Uh, brother, the body today, uh, amen, oh, it's more uh, than just sitting in the pew. Uh, amen, but oh, we ought to, uh, amen, live the same way. Uh, amen, out there, uh, that you portray in here. Uh, there ain't amen, uh, two different lives. Hey Amen. If you're gonna be right, I then friend be right. I don't run the name of God. Hey Amen. Through the mud and through the mire, I say get right. I get in. Our brother get out. It's time today that the body. Hey Amen. For the body of Christ, I then why don't we walk like Him? Hey Amen. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. Well, hey Amen. The Bible said. Amen. That on them more feeble parts, we ought to show more abundant honor. And our own uncomely parts. Amen. See, amen. I don't think much about my toe. I don't think much about my big toe. Amen. But from what I've heard, amen, if you ain't got it, amen, you can't hardly walk. Amen. You ain't got no balance. Amen. You ain't got no, amen, you can't get around. But brother, today in this body, amen, we're all fitly framed together. That's what the Bible said. All fitly framed together. Amen. Now, if there's one thing we don't need, brother, in the body of Christ, we don't need bitter envy. Amen. James said that in being strife, how were those abound? How that God ain't there? How well, brother, we don't need that. How but we need love for our fellow man. How we need compassion for our fellow man. A friend, God told me to tell you how that, amen, if you're a member, a brother of the body, how you say I'm not a member of this church. That's not what I mean. If you've been born again, how we're members of the body. How we're members of the body. And brother, the members of the body. You might think you're nothing, but let me tell everybody in here, amen, you are nothing. I am nothing, but oh, by the grace of God, we're all something. My brother in the Lord, if you're saved today, if you might think, and the devil tells you, my brother, that you ain't worth, amen, nobody crying over, you ain't worth a phone call, you ain't worth this, and you ain't gonna be missed, but if you're in the body, and then you're a member and you're needful. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, amen. The Bible said, amen, in the in the days of Gideon, amen, old Gideon, he went up and God was with him. He said, Lord, I'll go up if you go with me. And he went up and the Bible said that it man God delivered the Midianites our brother into Gideon's hand. Uh, but you know what the, the men of Ephraim did? Uh, they got mad. Uh, and they said, why didn't you call us uh, to go up and fight with you? Uh, you know how it is. Uh, our brother, when people in the body, uh, and then maybe somebody, uh, and then they'll get jealous of what this one's got. Uh, I'm jealous of what that one's got. Uh, I will, first of all, uh, amen, I don't care what kind of car you drive. Uh, amen, I don't care. Uh, our brother, amen, what your house looks like. Uh, amen, I'm more concerned. I was having spiritual gifts. Amen. If you're going to desire something, amen, desire spiritual 
gives. If you're going to desire something, oh, I wish I could have the car that they have. I wish I could have, amen, maybe this that they have. And you know what I wish you could have? Have that old time prayer, God. That makes you shout. That makes you want to praise God. I brother, the body. Amen. Oh, what's the purpose of every member of the body? I don't know what your purpose is, but you've got a purpose. You might be a finger. You might be a toe. But friend, if you're in the body, you're needed today. Amen. Amen. The devil tells some of you, amen. Amen. Well, when I don't come, if I don't come on Sunday night, amen, ain't gonna miss me. Amen, I miss every soul that's not here this morning. I do. Amen. I notice them. Why, you do too. Amen, with somebody. Amen, I ain't got to ask him yet. Service over, I'm going to say, Matt, is your mom all right? Amen, I mean, you care about people. Amen. Is Caleb all right? Amen. Amen. I mean, amen. It ain't because, amen. It ain't because of no other reason. But amen, that we're a body. Amen. And praise the Lord. Amen. My, amen. My, my toe, if I lost it, amen, you know what it's going to do? It's going to get in my head. You know where I'm going to feel that pain at? I'm, amen. My head's going to know it. My brain's going to know it. That brother today, amen. Let me tell you, amen. When you heard, amen, your pastor heard, amen. When you heard how the other members heard, and you say, Preacher, I ain't got that compassion. I get right with God, and then you'll have that compassion. I get on this altar and pray and repent, and then God will give you some compassion. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The world says envy the world. The world says envy them out of Hollywood. The world. Amen says envy. Amen. Envy that, that, that amen, that actress. Amen. Dressed like her. I done told you, amen. I told them down there at Limestone Revival. Amen. You know where they get the hairstyle? Amen. Amen. That a lot of them's got today. And you know where they get to dress that a lot of them's got today. Why well, they didn't see it in the church house. But brother, they seen it on the television. And they see it come out of Hollywood. But we don't need to envy that, young people. Amen. What do we need to envy? Amen. What do we need to covet? Amen. Oh, and there's, like I said, and there's one time in the Bible that it says to covet. It's to covet the best gifts. Amen. Brother, I want the gifts of God. I'm not money in my bill for. Amen. Not a car in the driveway. But I want the anointing and the power of the Lord. Amen. Well, old Ephraim got jealous. Amen. They said, why didn't you call us, Gideon? Amen. We done went up and fought with you. Why didn't you call us? He said, ain't you ain't down yonder? He said, the gleaning of the grapes in Ephraim is better than the vintage up here. He said, what you got up yonder? Amen. You stay up and you do what God, amen, has given you to do. Amen. That's what he said. I so friend, if amen, like I said, I maybe a couple weeks ago, amen, if all you think you do, how you say, preacher, all I do, I see now you're going to have somebody, amen, no doubt this week, it's going to vacuum it where it's mud. Amen. Come from that tent down there. And brother, amen. You're a member of this body. Amen. Old David said, he said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. But what did he say before that? Lord, a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents, brother of wickedness. Well, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. Brother, I wonder how many preachers, amen, of God took her preaching away. Amen. Oh, amen. And God said, you're going to open the door. I wonder how many would be faithful. But I thank God for you. Amen. Some of you, you ain't here to be seen. You ain't here to be loud. Amen. And you're to shout. But not because it's me. And not because somebody hears you. But because there's something in your soul that bubbles up in you. That makes you want to rejoice and praise His name. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And Ephraim said, Amen. We, we should have went up with you. And you go on over. Amen. Gideon died. Amen. Amen. And a man reigned in between him, killed all the sons of Gideon, just about. And then old Jephthah, he rose up, Jason. He reigned. 
And when Jephthah was reigning, the Bible said they went down to fight again. Amen. See, now Jephthah, amen, he was the son of a whore. Amen, the son of a harlot. Amen, that's what he was. Amen, the Bible said, amen, that amen, his brother said, I were putting you out of here because you ain't gonna have no inheritance. Amen, let me tell you today, you ain't got no business looking down on what somebody come from. It took the same amount of grace and the same amount of blood had to pull up the dope addict as it did to pull up the liar. We've all come out of the same clay. Now that don't mean, brother, that if you're living in sin, that man that it's right. I know you live in sin, you'll die that way. But amen, whatever God brought you out of, and if you die that way, you'll go to hell. But friend, whatever God brought you out of, it don't matter. It don't matter. He said he cast it as far as the east is from the west, never to be remembered again. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you know what he did? He put us in a body. He put us in a body. Amen. Amen. I'm in a body. And with all these other believers, amen, not just here. Not just here. Amen. But all them that's holding up the bloodstained banner of Christ and that's really got it right. Amen. That's li- amen. Living for God. Amen. I'm in a body with them. Amen. We're all in the same body. Amen. Well, amen. The devil tries. I had to tell you this one. Amen. The preacher cares more about them than he does you. And I'm just going to preach today. And I'm going to get right down to some what some of you said. And the devil's been in your mind. And the devil's been, amen, all over you. Amen. But oh, let me tell you what he is. And Jesus said, You are of your father. And the devil, amen, he was a liar from the beginning. He He's a liar. He's a father of it. And the devil's a liar. And brother, we're all in the body. And God, he loves every one of us the same. Ain't you glad that God loves you today? Amen. I am. I am. Amen, old Jeff. He said, boy, he said, you are not going to have inheritance with us because you're the son of a whore. Amen. Our daddy went out and he got a harlot pregnant and you ain't going to have no inheritance with us. So they put him out. But here comes trouble. Ain't that the way it is? Nobody needs a preacher until their youngins are getting married. Until they're putting them in the grave. Amen. Nobody needs a mechanic until their car's broke down. Amen. And praise the Lord. Well, I don't go to a mechanic when I don't need him. Amen. I'd rather do it myself. I've got time to do it. Amen. But there's one thing I can't do myself. Amen. Amen. The Bible said David encouraged himself in the Lord. Sometimes you can do that. Amen. But all the Bible said, Amen. And not forsaking the assembling of yourselves together as a manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much the more as you see that day approaching. And man, oh, we stop right there, Lord. But do you know what the next verse says? For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, the remaining no more, a sacrifice for sin, but a certain fearful, for of looking for judgment and fiery indignation. He that despised Moses, and man, law died without mercy, under two or more witnesses. How much sore punishment that shall be thought to be worthy of him who hath trodden under the foot of the Son of God and accounted the blood of the covenant I were with thee was sanctified and unholy thing and had done despite under the spirit of grace and the Bible said vengeance I belong unto him and I will recompense I saith the Lord and the Lord shall judge his people and it said in that 31st verse it's a fearful thing of the fall into the hands of the living God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Do you know why? It said if you sin willfully right after it said don't lay out church, that's what you're going to do. The devil says, well I don't do nothing up there. I don't ever sing. Amen. I don't ever test. Some of you don't. Amen. Some of you you're not. Amen. Amen. I mean by sound we wouldn't even know you're here. 
Amen. Amen. Everybody ought to have a testimony. Don't get me wrong. Amen. But just because you ain't as loud as somebody, that don't mean. That don't mean. Amen. That God loves you any less. Amen. We ought to have something to say for God. We ought to. Amen. But not everybody's the same. Amen. Not everybody testifies the same way. Amen. Not everybody. Amen. Does the same thing. Amen. But we're all members of the same body. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You ask. Amen. You ask. Amen. Somebody ain't here. Amen. You, amen. Some of you. Amen. Maybe if you're sick or something. If I don't call you. If I ain't called you to find out, it's because I asked somebody knows you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know why? Because I love you. Because I love you. And I told you, I, amen, God gave me this to tell you. Amen. Amen. Don't get discouraged. Don't let the devil tell you that you ain't doing nothing for God. Amen. We're all members of the same body. And if you're going to covet something, I covet the good gifts. Covet the best gifts. Say, God, fill me up. Amen. Praise the Lord. And Jephthah went to fight. He said, come on down here, Jephthah. We need you. We've done throwing you out, but we need you. And he went up and he fought. And the Bible said God did a work by the hand of Jephthah. Amen. Now, we know Jephthah gave his daughter. But you know what happened again when he come back down? Amen. He come back down again. Amen. And you know what Ephraim did? They said, you should have called us. Some people do the same old, same old, same old thing. Amen. You talk to them about it and you say you can't do this and you can't do that but they do the same same thing over and over and over again. Amen. And now if you get mad at me and never come back because what I'm about to say that'll be you. You'll stand for that in judgment. Amen. But brother it's time we swallow our pride. I'm not here to see you. You're not here to see me. I'm here to worship God. Amen. I'm here to worship God. Amen. It's like a little old youngin. How you whoop them over and over and over and they don't get the amen. But oh, let me tell you what God's gonna do. Somebody, I mean, God's gonna bring them down. You know what old song? How you tell that long tongue liar. How you tell that rambler. How you tell that gambler. You tell that backbiter. Got any of them in the body? No. They ain't in the body. They're just in the church house. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, amen. They said, well, we should have went up with you and fought. You know why they wanted that, Billy Joe? They wanted glory. A lot of people's after glory. A lot of preachers are after glory. A lot of deacons are after glory. Amen. A lot of people that testifies after glory. Amen. Amen. They said, we should have went up. We should have went up with you. Now, the first time, amen, the first time it happened, Amen, old Gideon, he talked to him nice. And he said, boys, it's, I mean, what you got up yonder is better than what we got. Amen, but old Jephthah wasn't so nice. And he said, all right, you Ephraimites. He said, when y'all start to come over and cross over the river, come over on this ferry. He said, all right, he said, I want you to pronounce Shilabeth. Amen, and the Bible said them Ephraimites, they couldn't frame to pronounce it right. Amen, they said, are you an Ephraimite? No, 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 I'm not an Ephraimite. Amen. Are you lost? Nobody's lost. Nobody's going to hell. Amen. Amen to you. Amen. Nobody does nothing wrong. Every way a man's right in his own eyes. But there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. And the end thereof are the ways of death. Amen. And they come over. They say, you from Ephraim? Nope. We'll say Shelby then. And the Bible said if they couldn't say it right, they killed them. They killed them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know the Bible said that some, they sleep. They're dead because of how they acted. Amen. When they come down to the house of God. That's what Paul said. Amen. He said, he said, because you're not worthy when you drink of that cup and you eat that bread, he said, some of you are dead. Some of you have done died because you're not worthy. Amen. But hallelujah. Amen. You know what we got here? Amen. You that's really saved and really, really been born again, you're in a body. You're in a body. And the devil tells you that you can't be used. Amen. In the church or out of the church. The devil tells you, amen, that your witness ain't no good. Your testimony ain't no good. Amen. If you're living right, if all you've got to say 
into the lost man as I'm glad I'm saved. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's a testimony right there. That's a testimony right there. Amen. God told me to tell you today. Amen. Amen. We're members of a body. And when the devil tells you you ain't worth a dime, you tell that devil he's a liar. Amen. When David lost everything and I'm done, amen, they come in, they come down and amen, they took everything he had, all the women, amen, all the spoil, they took it back. Amen. David said, Lord, amen, should I go up and fight? Yep. And you know what the Lord said? Go get everything back. Go get everything back. Go get everything back. The devil took things from you because he tells you you ain't worth a dime. You know what I say today? Go recover all of it. Amen. Get back your joy. Get back your testimony. Get back your compassion. Get back your love. Get back your, amen, your desire to be in the house of God. Amen. Amen. I want it. I want it. Amen. David, you know what David had to do? I done said it a minute ago. He had to encourage himself in the Lord. Amen. The devil, the devil tell you ain't worth nothing. And the devil tell you, now God laid this on my heart. And the devil tell you, amen. Now God spoke to somebody. And the devil tells you, amen. You don't ever sing. Amen. You don't ever testify. And like I said, you ought to testify more. Amen. But don't you let the devil beat you down. Because you ain't got the testimony of pouring out the liquor bottles like this brother does. Amen, brother. And don't let the devil beat you down. I heard Charlie Fraser, one of his daughters, amen, said, said, you know, she said, I struggled, amen, because I never was out there. Amen, amen, out there doing all them things. And Maggie can sing that song. I've never tasted champagne. I've never done this. I've never done that. Amen. Maggie, you hold on to that. Don't let the world pull you away. And you know what the devil's gonna tell her, oh, how you you didn't get saved from adultery. You didn't get saved from being drunk. It don't matter, honey. You got the same testimony. It may not be the same words. I the glory to God. You're in the body. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're all baptized into His body. Amen. Anybody need to pray today? Praise the Lord. I hope the wheels on that, well, on that horse trailer falls off of it. I went another. Amen. When you're in the body, amen. I hope I have to come in here to get help. Amen. I hope I have to come in here. Amen. And I hope I get down this shoulder. And brother, they'll quit throwing the horses on Sunday. And they'll get in the body of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Some of y'all didn't see it. I got behind one this morning. Amen. I had to. You know what my flesh started to say? If they wouldn't be riding horses on Sunday, I wouldn't be stuck behind this slow thing. But I had to remember, there was a time I wasn't in the body. There was a time I wasn't in the body. Amen. Amen. Spring, amen. March roll around or April. Amen. Sunday, I was up at Bristol. That one, amen, that weekend, that spring. Amen. August, Saturday night, I was up at Bristol. Amen. I didn't care about the Lord's Day. But something happened one day. Amen. Amen. I got baptized. Not down yonder at Stock Creek. But I got baptized by the Spirit of God into the body of Jesus Christ. Amen. Started out. Amen. I'm still the same member that I was back in. Amen. I didn't start. Amen. Wasn't preaching then. Amen. 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 Maybe I scared death testify. Amen, but praise the Lord, just because I'm standing behind this pulpit, that don't make me no more important than you. That don't make me no more needed than you. That don't make me, I know the devil's told some of you. Amen, I know he has. For years and years and years, you went right here at Valley View. And let me tell you what the devil does. Amen, I'm, I'm done. Amen, but here's what he does. Amen, Brother Tim preached on it one night a few months back. Amen, some of you that's been here for years, amen, other people come in and they testify more than you do and they sing more than you do. Amen. And maybe, amen. Maybe they're seen more than you are. And the devil tells you, they took my church. They took my church. Now, am I preaching right? And the devil tells you, they took my church from me. 
Amen. And what the devil says, we'd be better off if we had 12 or 15 like we did amen back in. But amen, the devil's a liar. The devil's a liar. Amen. You know what the devil wants you to do? He wants you to be like Ephraim. I but oh, I told you, amen, I ain't trying, trying to beat you down. Amen, I know you're better than that. You don't let that get to you. I but the devil tries, don't he? I the devil tries, don't he? I but all oh, your members have the same body that we all are. Amen. Praise the Lord. Anybody need to pray? Anybody need to pray today? Amen. Every head bowed and every eye closed.